Yo, what's going on people? It's your boy Eight Poncho back at you again with another video. And so today we're going to go over the story of two criminal bosses, that being brothers Alan and John Tobin. Now, these two men, although bosses within the drugs trade and were pretty high up within the criminal underworld, they wasn't right at the top, as you'll see as this story progresses. This tale has a lot of in and outs with various people involved for their roles surrounding various organised crime groups, again associated with the brothers. But today I want to focus solely on the brothers themselves and their story that's recently come out in the news. If you guys have been looking into this story already, then you'll know that the two were connected to various organised crime groups within the UK, with one of the main ones being the Cullen Organised Crime group who were led by twins Anthony and Leon Cullen. That organised crime group has been in the headlines over the past couple of years as 20 men who were a part of that group had been jailed for over 185 years for supplying lethal firearms and drugs to smaller gangs. Just so you guys are aware, the firearms that were linked to this group were military grade machine guns with the likes of AK-47s. So Leon Cullen had escaped this massive arrest of his organised crime group and fled to Dubai in January of 2018 to January of 2020 before an international arrest warrant was given the go-ahead and he was eventually arrested by authorities before being extradited back to the UK. He was only in the news over this past month or so, believe it or not, where he pled guilty for his role in this organised crime group, which again had been involved in firearms and drugs distribution. Now, just to go a bit deeper into the Cullen family for a minute, remember not too long ago we spoke about how a man had dressed up as a pizza delivery driver because he was going to take out a gang rival. Well, in that story, I'm unsure if you'll remember, but we actually spoke about the Cullen family. I'll extract the exact clip right now so you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. They would now head over to another address on Sinclair Avenue in Longford as another very similar attack was about to happen at the home of another one of Jamie Rothwell's rivals, that being Charlie Cullen. This hit once again had been put out by Jamie. This time Aaron would approach the door, knock it, shout pizza delivery and this time the person who answered the door said that Charlie didn't live there anymore and so the attack was aborted. So as you can see the Cullen organised crime group were into it with some serious people and them themselves are very serious people in the criminal underworld. The thing is though the Tobin brothers had been higher up than the Cullen brothers as they were the ones distributing drugs and firearms to their family and other organised crime groups. Three operations that being Operation Bullfight Operation Samurai and Operation Dreadnought were launched to find out who exactly were the Tobin's brothers customers and they came up to be again the Cullen organised crime group and two other organised crime groups. The Tobin brothers also sold drugs to other gangs in London, North Wales, Cornwall, Yorkshire, Cumbria, Manchester, the North East and Scotland and they had used couriers with the likes of Anwar Rahim. Now for anyone who doesn't know who Anwar Rahim is, he was jailed back in 2019 for his role as a courier for the brothers where he was handed a 66 month jail sentence. But again, as of now, we're not going to deep dive into each individual story of people involved surrounding these organised crime groups because we could be here for quite literally hours discussing it in detail. So let's take a look at who's involved in the Tobin Brothers organised crime group. So of course you have brothers Alan and John and their enforcer was a man by the name of of Robbie the Bear Broughton who was actually an ex-UFC fighter and although he wasn't directly involved with the drug side of things he had been involved in moving cash. It's thought with the amount of drugs involved the sum of money he was involved in moving was valued at around £30 million. Pounds. Just to touch quickly on Robbie it's believed that he also offered to move money for other organised crime groups and gangs and had been in regular contact with the Cullen brothers and it's believed he would charge a 7.5% commission fee for any job that he was involved with. Now, although the Tobin brothers had been dealing with organised crime groups, they had also had other people working underneath them, which I won't mention here, where they were dealing with smaller drugs trades. But, in August of 2018, the empire would start to somewhat crumble after the brothers' huge shipment of cocaine would be intercepted by police.
On the 2nd of August 2018, acting out on intelligence, police would pull over a van driven by one of the brothers' workers, Jamie Simpson, on the M6 heading from Kent to Warrington. When they stopped the van, the police discovered that drugs had been hidden under a secret floorboard adapted to hide the drugs. £20 million worth of cocaine was recovered in what's thought to have been the biggest drug shipment on UK soil. So by that I mean one person physically shipping drugs from one place to another on UK soil, specifically not shipping in from abroad. But although this was back in 2018, it wouldn't be until two years later that the Tobin brothers would be fully connected with this drug shipment. Now, although it doesn't say exactly how police connected the group to this shipment, although in the case of John it does, and they fully figured out how they were an organised crime group, all we can say for sure is that the Encro chat had been involved with the police investigation. So if I was to take a massive guess, given the time they were finally arrested and how it falls in line with the Encro chat hacks, we can only assume it was because of Operation Venetic that the group was finally caught. For you guys unfamiliar with Operation Venetic and the Encro chat hacks, I'll leave a video link down in the description below for a full in-depth look into what exactly those are but in a nutshell big criminal bosses were using this encrypted phone service aka the EncroChat and police hacked into it and have since been taken down these big organized crime groups. Before we get into the arrests and eventual sentencing of the Tobin brothers and Robbie as well, we'll take a look into what was discovered in the discussion on the Encro chat. So it's believed that between March and May of 2020, both Alan and John had been in discussion about 73 kilograms of heroin, 83 kilograms of cocaine, 57 kilograms of ketamine and 78 kilograms of cannabis. But this is where the story gets interesting and comes full circle to what I was saying earlier on about the Tobin brothers not being at the top of the chain when it comes to the criminal underworld. So as you guys know, the pair of course had 186 kilograms of cocaine seized from them by police. And because this had happened, this was said to have left them in huge debts with higher ups specifically with a person known as quote the banker the only thing we know about the banker is that it's thought she's a female she hasn't been identified by police and it's thought that she was an accountant for these underworld higher-ups and she too had robbie the enforcer working for her in regards to this debt it's believed that both brothers struggled to pay it off and they had been pressured by these higher ups to get them their money and John specifically was even instructed to sell some of his own items such as jewellery to pay off this debt. But because he couldn't pay off this debt on the 6th of February 2020 a hit had been put out on him and he had been shot at around 8.30pm on the Brook Road estate in Prescott. He presented himself in hospital in that situation and went on to make a full recovery. In September of 2020 though, this is where the organised crime group would eventually be brought down with everything that I've told you already and the fact that John's fingerprints were found on the cocaine that was seized by police. This would lead to everyone involved being arrested and charged with various charges which they went on to plead guilty to. Of course, there was more people but we're going to specifically talk about Robbie and the two brothers. So, Robbie was handed an eight-year jail sentence for conspiracy to supply cocaine, conspiracy to supply cannabis, and conspiracy to supply ketamine, and both the brothers were handed near enough 20-year jail sentences for conspiracy to supply cocaine, heroin, cannabis, and ketamine. And so, I know I say this at the end of every video that I do covering the Encro chat hacks, but once again, those hacks are proving successful at bringing these big criminal bosses down and sentencing them to fairly long jail sentences. Again, the ones that we've seen before, they've been 10, 15, 20 years like you've seen today. But for you guys who don't know, the NCA and the policing authorities said that basically this is just the tip of the iceberg and this is just the start. And I'm guessing over the next two, three, four, five years, we will start to see these big bosses eventually go on to get big jail sentences. But let me know what you guys think of this down in the comment section below. Give the video a little like. And if you want the latest drill, street and music news out of the UK, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. It's been your boy Ape Hancho, and I'm out.